What is the home buying process like? And what are the fees associated with buying a home? We'll, we'll explain. explain. There's of course your down payment and closing costs, and the amount of your down payment will depend on the loan program that you qualify for. And those closing costs will include title, escrow, and underwriting fees, which are typically around 2% of the loan amount. Now property taxes and insurance are calculated into your mortgage payment, or PITI, which stands for your principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. If you buy in a subdivision with an HOA, that payment will be added to your monthly mortgage amount. So when you make an offer on a home, you're also going to put down an earnest money deposit, which is typically 1% of the sales price and shows the seller that you're a serious buyer. Once you're under contract or in escrow on the home, you should have a due diligence or inspection period in your purchase agreement so you can perform any and all inspections on the home that you are buying. We always recommend getting a general inspection by a professional home inspector, and you can get other inspections done like mold, pest, or sewer inspection. The cost of your home inspection will be dependent on the square footage of the home, but typically ranges from 350 to 700. If the inspector expresses concerns to you about items like a leaky roof, mold, improper electrical wiring, appliances not functioning, HVAC system issues, you can choose to waive these concerns, assume them or fix them, or we can try to renegotiate the terms of the agreement and find a solution that will work best for both parties. If we can't agree on the solution, we can cancel the contract altogether without any repercussions as long as you are still in your inspection period window, which is typically seven to 10 days long. Now that your general inspection is completed and you're moving forward with the purchase, the next step will be the appraisal, which is ordered by your lender. The appraisal fee is an upfront cost and can run you around $600 which you'll pay through your lender. The mortgage company wants to know how much this home is worth before they lend you the money to buy it, because they will not lend you any more money than what the home is worth. So if the appraisal comes in low, we'll have a few options. One, the seller drops their price to the appraised value. Two, you the buyer can make up some or all of the difference. Three, we negotiate a solution that works for both parties. Or four, both parties can walk away from the deal with no repercussion. Now keep in mind, the seller does not have to drop their price. So we wanna make sure we have discussed with the listing agent any appraisal concerns before entering into the contract. So you don't waste your time and money if the seller never had any plans to drop their price in the first place. If the home appraises for sales price or higher, you'll be moving forward with the purchase and working with your mortgage lender to secure your loan to get the coveted clear to close. Congratulations, Congratulations. You're, you're a, a homeowner. homeowner. Lastly, as a new homeowner, you'll have the cost of home maintenance as well as utilities. Home warranties can really help in the long run. A one-time cost for the biggest investment of your life is totally worth it.